We are Team B4 and this is our reflow oven controller for ELEC 291. Using a circuit, a thermocouple wire, assembly code, and a solid state relay box, we are able to control the power fed to a toaster oven to reflect an adjustable reflow soldering profile. After pressing a push button to begin the reflow soldering process, our code enters a finite state machine, as indicated on the top left corner of the LCD screen. In this first state, maximum power is fed to the toaster oven until it reaches the desired soak temperature, which we set as 140 degrees Celsius in this footage. Additionally, a safety measure has been implemented such that if the oven doesn't reach at least 50 degrees Celsius in the first 60 seconds of operation, the refill process will be terminated. After reaching the soak temperature, the code will enter our second state, where the power fed to the oven will be reduced to 20% for a set soak time, which we set as 60 seconds. After the set soak time has passed, our code enters the third state, where the power fed to the oven is increased back to maximum power until it reaches the desired reflow temperature, which we set as 230 degrees Celsius in this footage. As you can see on the left, we are able to plot the temperature in the oven on a strip chart using Python, with the temperature plotted and printed at the top of the graph in real time. Additionally, as the refill process changes states, the color of the graph line will also change colors accordingly to reflect this. After reaching the reflow temperature, the power fed to the oven will be reduced back to 20% for a set reflow time, which we set for 30 seconds. Once the reflow time has passed, our code enters the final state, where no power is fed to the oven and the temperature in the oven is allowed to cool down. To change each of the parameters, we have implemented push buttons to change the reflow time, the reflow temperature, the soak time, and the soak temperature. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.